Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about a topic I rarely ever talk about, a community I just try to ignore altogether because I think most of them are just weird, but that's my own personal opinion, okay? So a lot of y'all have been begging me. I'm talking about begging me, honey, for like the past few weeks to talk about all this mess going on with Nick Acado Avocado, or as I like to call him, Nick Clickbait Acado Avocado, okay? <laughs> So Nick Avocado is this slovenly sloppy man who went from being a vegan, who was big on, you know, body positivity and health and eating right. Damn! But then he saw that there was money to be had in the mukbang community. And I've hit on the mukbang community sporadically in videos and how I just think it does nothing but promote gluttony, wastefulness. And people are just literally, you know, binging themselves. They're basically self-harming themselves by binge eating, okay? That's what it is. Y'all can call it cute names like mukbang, mukbang, monkey bang, 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 whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, this is binge eating, which is a disease that does affect people and it's not funny. <coughs> yeah, definitely put too much seasoning on this. Yeah, I ain't my mama. Yeah, ain't my dad. I do what I want. Get in camera, chuckle, buddy. So good. So I, I just don't support it. I'm not into watching people eat and smack and. <laughs> Let me stop, cause now I look like I'm sucking peen. Okay, I just it just it's annoying. But anyways, I, you know, and I try not to regulate what people do on YouTube. You do If you want to eat fucking shrimp and, and hot Cheetos all day, that's your business. Because there's stuff for everybody on YouTube. But what I've noticed with this Nick Avocado guy, who I don't really watch, but people send me his videos every time he's involved in some bullshit, is that he likes to bully, pick on people, and then, you know, play victim. You know, so wash, rinse, repeat. That is his M.O., so a lot of folks wanted me to talk about the whole situation. When he was bullying other mukbangers like Stephanie Zoe and Jack Choi. My thing is this. Stephanie and Jack, they're grown. They can hold their own titties. They can hold their own nuts. I'm not about to be running behind, you know, advocating on behalf of grown folks. If they have an issue with him, that's on them to speak on it. I don't need to come in with my cape. Because I know when I be going through shit, they're not coming in having my back with capes. You know what I'm saying? So I let other people hold their own nuts. But my whole issue with this situation is this. And this is why I'm speaking on it. I don't agree with his bullying tactics. I don't agree with him, you know, scaring people and just being overall creepy. People started sending me videos of Nick. Being disrespectful to not only Kobe Bryant, but his 13-year-old daughter. And also disrespecting the legacy and the memory of the other people who are aboard that helicopter who passed away. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a clip of Nick basically disrespecting Kobe Bryant and finding it funny. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Like David Dobrik, I want crowds of people saying my name because of how good I was. Like someone just, um, what was his name? A couple days ago, the basketball player who died in the helicopter crash, Kevin Bryant, Bryant, Kevo, Keno, Ke uh, Kurt, no, shh, they're all gonna come for me. It starts with a K, but it should be a C, but people say K. Kevo, Keto. Oh no, what's his name? Bryant was his last name? Oh shoot. Curtis. Oh no. Chris? No. It was like four four letters. K bim beep. Calvin. Oh, what was his name? It starts with a K. And even though it sounds like it should be a C. Kenneth? I don't know. I don't think it's that long. I remember being very short. Like four letters. I think there's an O in there. Kurt, Kurt, a cat, Kathy. Oh, everyone's really upset. Everyone's shouting at the screen. I don't know sports. I don't know basketball. I don't, I've don't. i never heard of them before. Don't come for me. I don't know sports or anything. All I know is that, like, oh, gosh, what's his name? What's his name? Anyways, he went in a helicopter crash. He, he passed away in a helicopter crash with his daughter. He's a basketball star, NBA, 
is that the St. National Basketball Association? Is it he died in a helicopter crash, and I know I'm saying it with a smile on him, so sorry. <clears throat> I'm not laughing about that, I swear. He Is he sirs? He ain't sirs. <laughs> he ain't sirs. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that disrespectful video. And like I said, I've been over this dude. I don't really watch his content because, again, he loves to, you know, binge eat and then play victim. He binge eats every day and then makes videos like, why am I fat? Why don't my jeans fit? How come I used to look like this, but now I look like this? Well, maybe because you're eating gobs and gobs of unhealthy food. Okay, that's why you're fat, overweight, and obviously miserable, okay? But as long as the money and the checks keep rolling in, you don't care. And your audience obviously doesn't care about your well-being because they continue to watch this train wreck of a YouTube channel, okay? Now, my thing is this. You come for all these other muckbangers and, and, and bully and pick on people, and that's on you. But what you're not going to do is disrespect Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Because the thing I've noticed is that some of these social media people have no problem coming and showing disrespect towards black icons and black figures. And then they try and play it off with laughter and try to play victim. Like, well, I didn't know his name. You know, uh, his name should start with a C. So you mean to tell me you know enough that you feel like the name Kobe should start with a C, but you don't know that his name is Kobe Bryant? No, that's because that C that you're thinking about, you're thinking about Kobe Cheese with your big ass, okay? Oh! <laughs> That's what you're thinking about. You're thinking about Kobe Cheese, and that's why you're confusing it with Kobe Bryant. Like, I'm just so over the disrespect that this dude shows. And the reason why I waited to make this video, because I thought, okay, let me wait a few days. I'm sure he'll apologize because he offended a lot of people with the things that he was doing in that video and his antics. And especially being that you're clickbaiting and you're talking about David Dorbrick stealing your style and, and you should be where he's at and all this goofy stuff. It's like the whole video just made no sense. It was disrespectful. But like I said, David can hold his own nuts. My issue is the comments that he said about Kobe Bryant, which were totally unneeded and very disrespectful. Now, what some of you guys don't know, especially if you're with my audience and y'all don't watch a Nick Avocado, is that Nick is a very talented violinist, okay? He can play violin really well, and it was because of him playing the violin that Trish Paytas reached out to him and they were supposed to meet all those years ago. Now, I find it funny that you can disrespect Kobe Bryant and you don't know his name and you can't remember his name. But I wonder if that was a helicopter crash of your favorite violinist. Ishak Perlman is one of the biggest world-renowned violinists out there. I bet you you wouldn't have got his name wrong. But for some reason, you can't remember Kobe Bryant's name because you're not into sports. And that's fine because everybody's not into sports. But how about you just leave Kobe Bryant out your fuckery? How about you stop trying to do stuff for clicks and views? How about you stop disrespecting people and stop disrespecting your audience and start taking your YouTube channel more seriously? I mean, everything about this dude is just about attention and clickbaiting. And the fact that this mukbang community has gotten so big is just sad. These were the same people on social media years ago, you know, saying that the gaming community sucks. All they do is play video games and they're making all this money. But in the words of damn PewDiePie, what is the mukbang community doing? I don't know about you guys, but I like watching mukbang videos for their insightful commentary. Mm. Remember when people said that playing video games for a living requires no talent? I remember. And what the hell is this thing? Exactly. They're literally eating and smacking on camera and maybe talking here and there. You know what I'm saying? And so how are they better than the gaming community? I just find the whole situation just crazy. And my thing is, let's keep this real. Everybody wants to act like this is all fun and games. All these people eating this weird ass shit. Now you got the coronavirus, you know, out there due to people eating bats and, you know, all types of other stuff. That's just one way people were getting the coronaviruses. I've also explained to other ways. But all this weird stuff, all this overeating, eating anything, anything goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some really disturbing videos of the things that people eat. I'm not even going to talk about it. It's that disturbing. But I feel like, let's say this was the anorexic community. 
right? And let's say we sat there and we watched people starve themselves. Let's say people had, you know, uh, long Twitch sessions and YouTube live sessions where you see people go from being a healthy weight to losing a bunch of weight. They're dealing with anorexia. Nobody would sit there and watch people who are anorexic just not eat for just entertainment. Nobody would sit there and watch somebody who's like 100 and, you know, who's like 95 pounds, skinny and frail, just sit and make YouTube videos talking about, well, I'm not going to eat. That's my thing. This is the anorexic community. But for some reason, it's okay to watch a guy go from being a vegan, being slim and healthy, taking care of himself, taking care of his body, to watching him become an overweight mess, to watching him purposely binge eat and get himself sick. This man's body is literally deteriorating in front of our eyes, and his fans are watching this in amusement. If this young man messes around and has a heart attack or ends up getting diabetes or just, you know, just anything that can befall him from all this overeating, then these same folks will be like, oh my God, poor Nick, and you know, we should have did something. I just find this really disturbing. Now I understand that not all mukbangers eat every day. You know, some people put a video up once a week, you know what I'm saying, once every few weeks. But this man literally eats like this every single day. This man is spending his money, which is all coming from YouTube, on gobs of food. And you can't tell me once he turns off the camera, he's not just throwing the damn food away. All this is promoting is just gluttony, wastefulness. You're literally watching somebody benefit and monetize a disease that really affects people in the real world, which is binge eating. And it's just really disgusting. I find everything about him revolting, the way he clickbaits, the way he loves to play victim, the way he bullies people the way he's manipulative, I just find it really, really disturbing and sad. But I've always stayed out of it. That's not my community, and I don't watch mukbangers like that. I'm not into that shit. But I'm part of the sports community. And what you're not going to do is disrespect Kobe Bryant or his daughter or any of the people on that helicopter. Kobe done put in way too much work, and he done got too much respect from people all over the world for you to come on there and act like you don't know who the hell he is, you can't remember his name, and just be all the way disrespectful. Well, I know for a fact, if this was Ishpak Perlman, you wouldn't have that same energy. You'd show him nothing but respect. I don't, I don't listen to Ishpak Perlman like that, but I understand what he's done for the world of classical music and violins. I would never come on my channel and act like he's irrelevant or disrespect him in death. You need to grow up, sir. You need to grow up and get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? And decide what you want to do with your life. Because at this point, you're on everybody's shit list. Your videos have way more dislikes than likes. And there's all types of petitions popping up to get you removed from YouTube because of your bullying antics. And you're also facing lawsuits from the two YouTubers that you've harassed and bullied and lied on. So again... For all y'all begging me to do a video on Nick, this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had to keep it real. And if the mukbang community gets offended by the things I've said, you already know. Y'all kick rocks. I don't give a damn. I, I said what I said. I stand by what I said. I think it promotes a lot of bullshit. And if you're in your feelings, well, a hit dog will holler. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Nick Cicado Avocado and all his drama. But most importantly to me, the disrespect of Kobe Bryant and his daughter. How he thought it was funny to not only clickbait, but then to use them and their legacy and his foolishness. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.